to the nerd, everybody. Uh, we are still in the process of building the server. This is going to be teaser two um, for an idea that I have. So let me. Yeah, I'm still in creative mode because we're still building the server. But you remember in the last episode or the last teaser, this had a wall all the way up, or this was all mountain range, but it's been blown away, so it can be rebuilt. Back here, my friend's going to be doing some building. I fenced it all off to keep the mobs away. I don't know exactly what she's got in store. Let's go on down and take a look down here, shall we? Uh, this is it's all complete down here. I think she's going to eventually finish up fi uh, fencing in, uh, filling it in, but she's deciding what she wants to do right now. Uh, but let's... Let's go back up here, shall we? Uh, I plan on probably digging all of this out and rebuild or re uh, replant real bricks or wood through here. But that is what's happening so far. Uh, the little, the little Mocha's hangout still there. The motel we got up there. But let's show you the main drum roll, please. The newest, largest edition. It's taken me a couple of hours to build. Drum roll, please. That way, I may build a patio up there. But, yes, there is the bridge. I actually made a bridge across here now. For the bridge, it'd be kind of the same as this bridge up here. Now, this one I used stone fence with steps going around it upside down. Which I do notice what I kind of did now. Uh, one sided one way, one sided the other, which, uh, whoops. But it, it, it looks cool like that. I just now noticed that a uh, little building mistake, but uh, it looks cool. Just, yeah, those, if you play on my server, just don't fall down there. That's to keep the mobs away. But I uh, know the bridge is like a built with the fence. It is actually built with, uh, let me see. It is built with the Archaea fence and the Archaea slabs on the top of the roof. Uh, but it actually turned out quite nice going across my little uh, little pond here. And I have the water flowing under the bridge down into the pond and flowing down here into the other pond, which these villagers love to take a bath in. But uh, I still don't know how I want to do that fountain right there yet. I've got to figure, figure a way to do that so the water run down and glow and light up. I may have to put glow, uh, red redstone red under it to do that effect instead of glowstone so but with no more delays they got the little fountain running down here too uh, but with no more delays let's walk down this path Ooh, where does this path go got roses everywhere glowstone lamps bushes and the sign welcome to Majin Labs yes Majin Labs this is Majin Labs uh, a part that I'm building into the village fly out here yeah I'm in the process of hollowing it out re rebuilding and retexturing the well not retexturing but built a uh, hollowing it out and laying new bricks and new blocks down but Majin Labs it's gonna be a series where we figure out how to build stuff redstone devices with the current only vanilla things in Minecraft there's going to be a laboratory where I can set up, build, and learn. We can learn together how to build certain parts using nothing but what's provided in Minecraft. Think about that for a little bit. Majin Labs. With no further ado, let's open the door to this evil place, shall we? And I don't know what I'm going to do here, but right now that's what I wanted to do. Welcome to Majin Labs. It's got all the blue blue stones on the floor, blue light, red lights, uh, pictures, uh, the receptions desk that I'm going to do. I'm going to probably put a little potted plant back there in the corner. Uh, the logo on the wall. Of course, some paintings. Another fountain that drops down out of the ceiling and comes into a little pool with a tw but uh, no, nope, a little break room I think right now, or a little desk back here, another painting in our facility. The lights are actually redstone. And a little garden that's lit up with redstone down below, as you can tell. Another fountain. It's running up and out from above. Uh, the wall back here, 
is hollow right now. I'm planning on probably building some storage back there eventually. So that goes under the stairs. So let's go on up. Don't mind the skeleton guy. We don't want to hollow out any more behind this wall, as you can hear lava bubbling. But that wouldn't turn out well. I'm going to put a sign to remind myself. There's a plan to wire this whole facility with redstone. And I want to know where the redstone is. I may put a sign up above saying redstone cabling wires through throughout the facility in these areas. But some uh, this is in stone. And I think in stone, no, sandstone stairs with in stone. It actually looks quite good together blended in with the, uh, the Arcadia wood and the stone there. As you can see, I put some redstone lights under the stairs, which looks quite nice in the wall. Um, I think I got, yeah, I got some in the ceiling. This is an overlook balcony, which, as you guessed, it overlooks the village. I probably plan on replacing all the cobblestone going down through there with brick. I don't know. I may just leave it cobblestone because it does look nice and it does blend in a little bit. But overlooking the entire village, I still don't know what I want to do with all that green stuff right out there. As you can tell, the mouse hair is pointing. I don't know what I'm going to put all out there yet. I may just leave it, may level it down and put farms yet. I don't really know. I can't level it too far down because I can see the lava. Crap. I can see the lava from here, so if I level that down, I might accidentally poke a hole and flood it with lava. So I don't think I want to bring that down too far, but I could probably bring it down a little ways. But. Now the bridge, like I said, was done with wood. I want to do a fountain right there. Let me fly up and fly out. There's a fountain here that's running down, lit with glowstone. It is, that's the one that feeds that internal fountain I showed you earlier. I got to break these blocks and finish doing a little bit of changes in there. Which I'm probably going to break the blocks and go in from the side. So pop this out. It's going to flood the, the village down below. Uh, this was originally going to be the entrance to Majin Labs. But I, like I said, there's that back wall, back hollow out I was talking about. I may just make this into a patio that overlooks all this down here. Because here's another part into the Mod Gen Labs. This was originally another hollow out version. It was here originally because the spawn point's up there somewhere. Got to figure out how to change that spawn point. And I'm probably going to change the spawn point to right on the other side of the gates. I don't know. Really don't know yet. Huh. Need to finish getting all the coal out of the fountain, coal and huh. copper. And then I would probably put some redstone huh. down in the fountain to make it light up a little huh. bit so I can get rid of some huh. of the torches. I'm going to experiment with actually changing the glowstone huh. lights to redstone. Huh. Try it, but because I'm kind of turning some of it away from glowstone to redstone as you can tell over here I moved away from redstone I mean glowstone over to the redstone which actually blends in a little bit better with the roses but then again I don't know I really because to do all the glow the, gl the redstone you have to have those redstone cubes or the torches and I don't know I can hide them in the wall hollow out like three blocks do it. One for the glows, the redstone. One for the uh, redstone cube, and then the glass to go over it. But I don't. I really don't know. I may just leave it all glowstone out here. This in the future builds to try to figure out a redstone way. But here's the little hangout here. And I thought I heard a puppy cry. So let me fly up. Hey, boy. I thought I heard a dog cry over here somewhere. I might not have, but uh, no, this is the teaser so far for the Minecraft server in the Mod Gen Labs. Uh, I do need to fix that and put stone down in those areas like I started to right in there. And fix out where they knocked the uh, parts away. And pr I'm going to end up killing the animals that's getting in here, unless he gets out in a minute out the gate. But, um, no, I don't know how they got down in here, so I may end up killing them off, get them out of my garden. 
back in here. I don't know what I want to build yet either, but this is just another. Like I said, I fenced it off to keep the mobs from coming in and killing the villagers. We did have a mob, a mob zombie villager that somehow spawned. He spawned outside the fence, but I could never figure out how to cure him, so I think I just ended up killing him. I think I ended up knocking him into the lava by accident, but I don't know how he spawned. He must have just came in from somewhere, or he was one of the ones that got out of the gate out here and got turned into one. But, it, but there's that's a new mob as well. So what's uh, yeah, we got torches everywhere trying to push the mobs further out. We got mines right there, a mine. I wouldn't recommend going into that one unless you want to risk puncturing the lava. Um, I may turn that into a mine out there. Put a path down to it out there and say to the mine. And people because I'm going to probably pr spawn protect all of this all the way around here. So I plan on putting in probably a little beach. I don't know yet. Because we're right here on the river. If I do do a little beach, a little beach part, it's probably going to be out here. There'll be a path to it. I see a skeleton right there, but it'll be a little path down to it running back and there's another mine back up to the town I may put another town a smaller village town somewhere out here and probably out right in here make it like the little beach resort but then we'll have to push the mobs further back as you can see they're all spawning out here there's a zombie there's a there's another zombie that's this seen a creeper yeah a creeper right there spider two more creeper or three more creepers and another spider Another zombie, so we'll have to light this up and push them out further. But no, so far so good for right now. There's two more creepers. Yeah, they're they're kind of around us. Since I lit up up there, because they was spawning up there and dropping down into the town. So I had to light up around the mountain just to push them further back. Which, like I said, it's still a work in progress. All the dirt will be replaced with brick or something as time goes on, because it's still a little work in progress. It's probably going to take it's going to take a lot more time, probably another couple of hours to do that. So hopefully, as soon as I can get it all built and get this whole area spawn protected, so nothing could be broke or blown up if something does get in here, I could release it to the public to get in. And hopefully we would have our own nice little area. And y'all could come in and play with me as I'm building and experimenting and recording these YouTube videos. Once y'all like that, so y'all could probably be a part of the Mod Gen Labs if you wanted to. And the videos. Now that's something to look forward to. For now, I am going to... Yeah, I'm moving out of my little house there into that. That's going to be my new house now. I'm going to build me a little floor with a balcony of my own somewhere over so I could overlook the village and I'm moving into that so um, I'm gonna look forward to that uh, this is just another little update and teaser as to what's going on with the server in the Minecraft series uh, I'm do I probably am going to do another recording later showing the building process but I don't want to bore you all with that until we pro well I really don't want to bore you all and I'm afraid if I just show nothing but a building episode y'all will get bored so, but uh, if y'all want to see a building episode of this, the mod gen labs being built in the process, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to record the building process. Then again, it, it, to me it's fun, but it might be boring just sitting there watching me do nothing but build and talk and explain what I'm trying to do or what my goals are. But just do leave a, leave the comments in the description below and let me know. This is the nerd signing off for now. Bye bye.